I think what's funny about the Seahawks, and we said this before the season began, that you have a front office who has drafted and acquired talented, relatively unknown players to build the Legion of Boom, and there was this assumption that they couldn't do it again, right? Like, well, you know, they're going to have to rebuild because these guys don't know what they're doing. I mean, they they didn't have a good offensive line. Well, one of the reasons they didn't have a good offensive line was because they had to spend a bunch of money to keep the defense together. But Richard Sherman would have you believe that the defense had had it with the offense, whether it was the play calling, specifically the Super Bowl, or the leadership, specifically the quarterback in Russell Wilson. And that was the real rift in the team. It was the defense against the offense. The defense had been carrying the load, and they didn't feel like they got the respect that they deserved, and the offense got too much respect, especially the quarterback, Russell Wilson. I said this last year, and this was before Richard Sherman got hurt. Careful. Tread very, very lightly on going after a franchise quarterback, especially one that's won a Super Bowl and taking it to another one. No matter how good you think he is, there's a couple things. And this is a something you should realize when you go to a new job. And somebody says, hey, what do you think about Jimmy? You know, he's been here 10 years. You think he's any good? Before you say, Jimmy stinks. Okay, Jimmy's an idiot. Who hired Jimmy? The guy you're talking to? Probably hired him. Right? You walk into a new building. Before you say, everybody in here is an idiot and I'm the smart one, realize that everybody in there is in there because the person who hired you also likely hired them. I saw this quote, and this was really good. Frank Clark, who, remember, fell in the draft because of off-the-field issues when he was in college, has had an outstanding season. For long, he said, I feel like we had the spirit over us. That Super Bowl lingering from 2015, you know what I mean? He told the Seattle Times. I feel like for the longest time we had that cloud over us, like people wouldn't get over it. But I feel like there were some changes here, and we were called a team that was going to have a rebuilding season. Frank Clark said, Richard Sherman and his era are over. Hmm. Naming names. The one thing we wanted to just continue to go out there every week and prove all the doubters, all the haters wrong, continue to show them we're a team or a force to be reckoned with. How about that? How about that? From uh, Cam Chancellor to Richard Sherman to, you know, look, they, they had a couple guys retire last season. They've had Michael Bennett was there for a minute, and now he's gone. It's really interesting that the rebel rousers, the guys who talked the most are gone. And the ones who didn't and bought into the idea of the team are there. There was this thought that it was the defense led by Richard Sherman against the offense. And that was the break. Turns out it was Richard Sherman against the Seahawks. Right. I think this is a fascinating thing in sports. This is something you're seeing. Doesn't mean that Richard Sherman wasn't still pretty good before he tore his Achilles tendon and not, not terrible now. But remember, they were going to trade Richard Sherman. We have a tendency as fans to react well to guys that walk it like they talk it, say what they think, mean what they say. But the truth is that doesn't work in professional sports, especially in team sports. You can't be calling out a teammate, calling guys phonies especially when he's your quarterback. This is, this, is the, this is what the Golden State Warriors understand about Draymond Green. Draymond Green is super important. Played last night, played well. Nearly had a triple-double. Steph, Steph had 38. I mean, he's pretty good. Okay? But Draymond Green keeps it real. Richard Sherman keeps it real. Do you guys remember Chappelle's show? What was the segment that they had? When keeping it real goes wrong. <laughs> this idea, we all just, hey man, I'm just saying what I think and meaning what I say. Cool. You can be right and you can be out of a job. That doesn't work in team sports, especially at a high level, especially when you come at your quarterback. Because you know what those quarterbacks are? Quarterbacks are unicorns. Kevin Durant's a unicorn. 
They just don't make seven footers that can shoot threes, that can post up, that can guard every position on the court. Those human beings don't exist on this earth with the exception of one or two guys. Six foot five, six foot six, six tough guys that can dribble, pass, and occasionally shoot and have great basketball IQ and pretty good leadership. There are more of those out there, believe it or not. I'm not saying there's a ton of defensive backs that are Richard Sherman, but you can find enough defense. Don't believe me? Watch Seattle. They don't put guys on islands nearly as much, and when they do, they just have they have a they have a competitive athleticism that that rivals any team in the National Football League. They know who they are. They were built as a team, and though Russell Wilson isn't the greatest throwing quarterback of all time. He is not Brett Favre. He is not Aaron Rodgers. He is not Tom Brady. He's not. He's not even um, Peyton Manning. Probably not Philip Rivers. But he can make plays with his feet, with his arm, with his feet and his arm, with his head. It was a great ball. And generally hasn't complained about not having a lot of weapons or when those weapons like Jimmy Graham just aren't as good as they're advertised to be. Didn't have Doug Baldwin. Didn't have DJ Fluker. Playing at home in kind of a must-win game to keep their playoff hopes alive, they won, and they found a way to do it, shortening the game and playing smart football. Meanwhile, Richard Sherman collecting a new check on a San Francisco 49er team that's still in rebuild mode. He kept it real when keeping it real goes wrong. I mean, Frank Clark's own words, Richard Sherman and his era are over here. They'd had enough. They just, the the team collectively had like, you know what, dude, we got it. You thought we should have handed the ball to Marshawn. Okay. How many years ago was that? Like, seriously, how many years ago was that? There has to, everyone has, there has to be a uh, statute of limitations on lots of things. All right. There's a statute of limitations on crimes. There's statute of limitations on things in relationships, right? If you're in a relationship, you know your wife or girlfriend's like, remember that time? Like, that was 15 years ago. I, I, I vaguely remember. Thank you for bringing up a really dark moment. Right? Richard Sherman's the guy who can't, that you go play pickup ball and he can't get over the fact that you got the girls in high school because you got all the shots and he thought the coach liked you better. Like, hey, dude, we hadn't been in high school in like five or six years, seven years. I, I get this all the time with people where they like, remember that game? Like, I do, but I, I don't care. My I give a F has decreased from like 75% to like one or 2%. I got like a wife and kids. I've heard people say that before. Oh, you don't like, you didn't think, you don't like Baker Mayfield. I had Dean Blevins, who's a sports anchor and does some radio in Oklahoma City, said that I didn't like Baker Mayfield calling out his former coach because I'm an Oklahoma State guy. He's an OU guy. Like, Dean, I graduated in 2000. That was 18, close to 19 years ago. Do you really think I still care? Now, I get, like, if you live there, it may still eat you up. Like, man, I hate OU, and they hate me. But, like, I'm a grown-up now. I live in California. I live in Connecticut. Lived overseas. Had three kids. Been married a while. Kind of mellowed some. And I just don't care that much. I just don't. Love my school. Love my school. And when they play Oklahoma, I like them to win. And, frankly, I think that Tua didn't win the Heisman, because there is a little bit of a, oh, I'm just, just tired of Alabama guys. There's, they got so many players, even if Tua is far and away better than any quarterback they've ever had. And Kyler Murray did do more for his team. But I don't say that because I went to Oklahoma State. Don't care. Or don't care enough to allow it to cloud my judgment. But that's who Richard Sherman is. Couldn't get over stuff. Couldn't get over. Like, yeah, all right, Russell Wilson's a bit of a phony. He's not nearly as religious as he wants you to believe. There is no miracle water that cu- clear that that cured him of a concussion. Okay, we got you, Russell. You're just trying to sell some water. Hey, man, 
do we really think that Stephen A. Smith's in somebody's belly trying to sell some Oberto beef jerky? No. Suspend disbelief a little bit. Regardless of which, we're all in on it. We got it. You didn't think he was real, but you wouldn't let it go. And you forced the Seahawks to let you go. And they're the better because of it. 